Um, now this week we'll be going over how to easily transform your logo or text into a brush preset so you can easily stamp it onto your photograph before saving and uploading it to the web. Okay, so really, really simple. Let's go ahead and get started. Notice how uh, we're starting off with my logo. It does have a transparent background. It was saved as a PNG here. Um, this step you can also complete with um, a solid background, whether it be white or another color. Um, you can also complete this step um, without the transparent PNG. Just keep that in mind. That is absolutely okay. Um, so I'm going to be using this file here. And I'm going to click Edit, and I'm just going to go down to Define Brush Preset. And now you can name your brush um, whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it Amanda's Actions Logo. Press OK. And now I'm going to go over to my photograph. I've got my brush already selected. I'm going to go into my presets. Now here's my new brush that I had just created. It is also selected. Um, and you can resize it to uh, you know, whatever size that you feel is right for your photo. There we go. Okay, so I am just going to click on my photograph and notice how um, just like that I've got my watermark um, stamped onto my photograph. Now every time that I'm ready to apply my watermark, I can just open, um, select your brush, and you can open your, your, um, your brush presets here. You can also right click on your photograph and they will pop up there as well, okay? Um, now I can also uh, just go in here and select my foreground color. I can change it to black if I had wanted to stamp it on a lighter part of the photograph as well. Um, and I can also add a layer, notice here, um, I'm stamping on the layer. If I wanna change the opacity, I can bring that down and up as well. Okay, so that's switching your logo to um, a stamp. Really, really simple and easy to use. Now we're going to be going over how to um, create text and um, transfer that into a logo as well. So I'm just going to select File, New. Um, you can never really go too big with your logo. You can, however, go too small. So um, just create, I usually do width 100, height 100, resolution 300. I'm gonna name this Amanda's Actions Text. There we go, and press okay. Um, okay, so now I'm going to select my text icon down here. I'm gonna click. And you can choose whatever text that you're wanting to use. I'm just going to stick with a uh, simple Century Gothic um, in all caps. And I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller so I can go all the way across here. Okay. And I'm going to type my website. Okay, so just about done here. Really, really simple to turn text into a stamp as well as your logo. Okay, so that went off of my canvas. I'm just going to move it and center it. Okay, and now I'm going to crop. I don't want this deep. I don't need the whole uh, canvas to be my stamp. So I'm just going to crop it. Um, pretty tight. <clears throat> there we go. Double click to crop. There we go. And now I'm going to go to edit and same steps. Define brush preset. Uh, Amanda's actions text. Click OK. And now I can click on my photograph that I, I would like to um, add my watermark to. And I'm just going to click, and there's my stamp. Now, that was a little small, so I can move that up. Um, I can make the size larger by using my left and right brackets. The right one, obviously, will make it larger. 
Okay, notice how I could just stamp my logo right up there at the top. That's my text. I'm good to go. Um, so instead of, uh, if you normally just have regular text, instead of clicking your uh, text icon and typing it out every single time, which does, um, you know, especially if you're watermarking several photographs at a time, it takes quite a bit more time than simply, uh, you know, stamping and um, uploading to the internet. So really, really simple. Love, love, love um, creating different brush presets to add my logo onto my photographs. Just makes it that, that much simpler. And uh, so we're done. Really simple tutorial this week. And uh, again, my name's Amanda. Thank